Hey everyone, Oricon here, and I'm back once again with another episode of Oricon Gaming. Uh, and today is going to be a quick little review for my uh, Fit Adventure series. We are talking about reviewing the Digimon Vital Bracelet. Uh, I'm wearing it right now. It is a, for those that didn't see my previous video, it is a combination virtual pet and uh, exercise um, encourager. Uh, I, I don't want to call it an exercise tracker because uh, it's got a pedometer and uh, that's about it. It's it's not got any of the uh, other features that you would find in something like a Fitbit, even though it kind of looks like, like one, but much more bulky. Um, <laughs> so I've had it for a couple days now. Uh, if you saw my first impressions video, um, a lot of what I said there still holds true now. Um, and I haven't... I haven't done much with it in these in these couple of days, uh, which is evident by the fact that he actually evolved into, uh, uh, I had a Pulsemon, which evolved into a Namakemon, which is basically a sloth Digimon, and that's them saying, hey, uh, you didn't work hard enough. Um, but that's not the product, that's me. <laughs> so if we're talking pros and cons, I'll start with the pros. I do like... Um, the fact that the screen is nice and crisp and colorful is definitely the best looking virtual Digimon virtual pet I've ever seen. Uh, the sprites are a lot more color, uh, colorful and detailed than they are in even other current virtual pets. Um, I also like I also like the fact that yes, it is here most uh, mostly to motivate you to exercise. You feed the Digimon by uh, giving it vital points, which you do through. Uh, you know, using it as a pedometer, uh, jogging, uh, other exercises. You can do something called uh, missions, which will get you trophies, um, which factor into not only keeping it fed and, and happy, but also uh, factors into what it will evolve into. Uh, and you get those trophies by, um, like I said, going on jogs or doing specific missions where it says, hey, do 20 squats right now in the next uh, minute, and here you, uh, here you go, you know, keep on going. Um, and that'll give you trophies, which help. Um, I did that a couple times, and I did some of the uh, uh, adventure missions where you just go jogging, and after a certain number of steps, uh, you get into a battle um, and have to battle it like you're battling in a virtual pet, and that helps train the Digimon. Um, it's all very fun, and it takes my mind off of the fact that, hey, I'm exercising, which is the main point uh, that I got it for, and so it does work for that. So that's very cool. Um, going into some of the cons, um, it's a little bulky. Uh, the strap is not large enough for someone. Like, I'm not even that large, uh, and I can barely fit the thing on my wrist. So that is definitely something to keep in mind. Um, but you can easily expand it. Um, and in terms of... Uh, UI, uh, it was not localized at all, so the, everything that was in Japanese in the original version is still in Japanese here. It's not much. Uh, a lot of a lot of it is do, uh, is shown through um, symbols and images. The UI is very uh, language free, so that doesn't bother you very much. You can still use the uh, the bracelet just fine, but keep in mind there is some Japanese text there uh, that you're not going to be able to read if you don't know Japanese. Um, and in other cons, um, the, the whole concept of dim cards, uh, I have mixed feelings on. The, uh, what it is is usually with a, with a virtual pet, a Digimon virtual pet, uh, you start off with one egg, and then as you progress, you unlock more, and there's usually five or so eggs in a Digimon pet, uh, at least in the current 20, uh, uh, anniversary ones that are, that are so popular nowadays, so popular. Um... But this one only has one, and that's the only egg you can get. It has a branched evolution, obviously, but you can't get any more unless you buy more dim cards. So there's a higher ceiling of expansion. I'm never going to need to buy another vital bracelet if I don't want to. Um, but you only start with one. Whereas the, uh, the other virtual pets, you start, you get five or so, and five or so may be all you want, but if you want more, you have to buy a whole other virtual pet. They're also only $20 or so, which uh, is cheaper than this was. Um, but yeah, other than that, uh, that's really my only problems with it. Uh, it's fun. 
I, I do think I even though I did say a lot more cons than pros, I think the pros outweigh the cons. It's it's fun. It is first and foremost a virtual pet. Like I'm, it's not going to have the same types of features as a Fitbit. But in terms of gamifying your exercise and helping you to lose weight and well, helping you to exercise and stay healthy without thinking about it so much, uh, it did its job. And I enjoy it, and I'm going, to, I'm, I'm going to continue wearing it for a little while, and we will see down the road whether my opinion changes or not. Um, other than that, uh, like I said, it was pretty good. Uh, so comment down below uh, if you have one of these or if you're planning on getting one of these and if I swayed your opinion and what you think of them. Um, I definitely want to... Uh, there, there, are, there are other features that I can't use yet. There's multiplayer features, and there's uh, features that coincide with an app that's not out in America yet. So uh, I might do a follow-up video. Um, but basically, these are just, after a few days, this is what I think of the product. And I would consider it uh, a buy for me personally. But like I said, comment down below what you think of the product and uh, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in two weeks for another episode of uh, my Fit Adventure series where uh, I'll be talking about something else fitness related. Um, the series is, is going to be very um, one thi one you know different thing every, every episode. Um, but for right now, um, look forward to that and look forward to other videos on my channel. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.